Good day YouTube. In today's video, I'm going to create a strain relief for the wires on the 40 meter horizontal loop. Hello, my name is Captain Darren. My amateur radio call sign is N4VFR. If you haven't seen my 40 meter horizontal loop, uh, it's, it's pretty good build. Take a look at that. I leave the link above. Now let me show you what I plan on doing on creating a strain relief. While I'm on the roof, I'm going to show you my plan on creating that strain relief. This cardboard represents the back plate of the 4 to 1 ballon. We're just simulating that this is the 4 to 1 ballon with the, uh, the, the lugs on either side. And this wire is a 14 gauge wire similar to the one that I'm using now with a ring terminal. I'm not sure what the actual dimension of the ring terminal is, but I have a drill bit big enough to create a hole on the back plate where it passes through, just like that, okay? So this is the plan. Imagine that the ring terminal is connected. I'm going to loop through the back plate with enough slack this portion where the ring terminal is connected and soldered is going to go to the 4 to 1 ballon, just like that. And I'm going to take a zip tie, zip tie around this portion right here. We're going to use this uh, wire tie here real quick. Just imagine that, that this is the, the zip tie, okay? So you have an image. Okay, so that's the zip tie. And this ring terminal will connect to the 4 to 1. Just like that. Now this portion of the wire runs all 242 feet around and it's going to be connected do the same thing for the left side and that wire is continuous it's not broken it's a continuous run with both both solders to the ring terminal on both ends so that's the plan so let me go to the roof and uh, make this modification okay I'm on the roof and uh, I'm going to first loosen the majority of the the insulator so I'm just gonna lower it a little bit and then um, I'm gonna go to the four to one ballon over there and I'm going to bring that down, drill the holes in the back plate to prepare for the uh, tension relief on the uh, 14 gauge wires. I think this is enough uh, slack to lower the, the uh, pole number uh, one. Pole number one is the uh, left front side of the house. That's the one that's housing the four to one ballon. I'm just taking out the ring terminal. Where I'm looking to drill the holes is probably right here. One on either side. That way when the wire comes in here, I can 
loop it in and then the the little pigtail will connect to the stud. All right, I got good news. That last drill bit was able to fit the ring terminal through the hole. Okay, now this is for the left side. What I'm gonna do is go through the hole. And connect it here, the ring terminal. I'm doing this so to relieve tension because if I didn't do this this solder point the solder joint that would weaken and with the wind blowing back and forth it would loosen it and eventually snap off I was on 10 meters FT8 about 30 minutes ago and uh, I wanted to do test this 4 to 1 ballon. I was putting about 500 watts out on the uh, FT8 on 10 meters. Alright, I'm going to figure out what's the best position for this because the strain relief is going to be above above this location no I think I was gonna do it like this but I need a lot of slack because or like this okay I'm gonna put some electrical tape on the inside of this and uh, I have to mark it what I want to do is I'm going to bend this outward some bend it outward so it's not going to fray against this plastic there you go See how it's uh, moved away. That's a closer look of how I'm going to mount that. Somewhat a 90 degree bend on the ring terminal. Now I'm going to tighten this down. Because the washers are big, I could actually feel the ring terminals uh, flattening out. But uh, that's fair enough. It's going to keep it away from the backing. Okay, I just want enough room for this to be tight here and I want to put some electrical tape there around this where it's bent at right around there all 
I'm going to use this to prevent chaffing of the insulator. This is a 14 gauge strand wire. Okay, let that fit around there. Number one is done. I got to do one more. She's all done. 40 meters horizontal. L. We got six poles. This is number two. This here is a riser for my zero five, and that's a zero five in the inverted L. Come on over here to the back rear. This is pole number three. This is a support pole for the inverted L. That's 40 feet of wire going to the 05, 27 foot antenna. This is antenna pole number three. The right corner and moving moving to the side this is number five right here looks like I didn't really need it but it's there anyways and the last one this is number six And this is where I adjust my tension right there. I got a lot of slack just in case if I need to tighten it up, loosen it up, I have a lot of slack. So that's it. My modification for the, oh my God, there's Santa Claus up there. This is the modification for the tension relief on those 14 gauge wires there's Santa Claus well that was uh, easy enough I managed to do that within an hour going to the roof and adding those strain reliefs for the 14 gauge wires I would like to thank Art and for Q&T for uh, giving me that advice because uh, it literally it split my mind. It, it, I didn't even think about it until uh, he brought it to my attention last night. Thanks Art, I appreciate the tip. If you guys are watching this video, enjoy it, uh, enjoy the entertainment, please consider to subscribe to my channel, click on that like button, leave me a comment, and uh, also uh, the notification bar so that you get any notifications of my videos. Thanks for watching 73s and have a great day.